Say hey. Daddy. Hey. Daddy, I want to see him. Hey, this way. <laughs> Got it? Go! Children are heritage, right? Yes, she knows. Hey, give me a kiss. Alright, let's go. Jesus, the Word, became flesh and dwelt among us so that the Word could become flesh and dwell among us. But it's full circle so that we could become the living, breathing Word of God. That is, that's Jesus. That's what He does. He, he creates little Jesuses. We call them Christians, right? It really changes the perspective that you have on, on uh, what you're doing every day. Because then going to the restaurant is not just going to the restaurant, it's Jesus is going to the restaurant to meet with others, to love on others. I'm on my way to a shoot now at, uh, at Albemarle. And because Jesus became flesh and dwelt among us so that the Word could become flesh again and dwell am among us. We now have the Holy Spirit. So we have nothing holding us back from the love and the ability and the authority and the power that resides in Jesus. Jesus lives in you. Just got out here I'm shooting this which is the uh, Stanley County Opera House I had somebody call me and ask me if I couldn't uh, do some shots for it so we can put forth something on their their uh, website and also try to get some art for myself and uh, yeah pretty excited about it but I was thinking about how I am bringing Jesus to the Opera House and how special that is for me because I get to act, talk, walk, and ultimately be Jesus because our goal in this walk, in any step you're in, is to become like Jesus and do what he did. Super simple. I think we complicate it so much to be like only the theologians do this, only the pastors, only those that have, only those that are, have that uh, grand anointing. And Jesus is saying, no, my Holy Spirit is the anointing. And I have sent that on all of you that come to know me. So really our goal is just to be like Jesus. So my, uh, my client's not here yet. So I'm gonna run in to Glory Beans and get a coffee. So, not a huge fan of the sleeves that go on the outside of it, um, but that's hot. Wow. So we're here inside the Stanley County Opera House and 
what's really neat about this is it applies so much to what we've been talking about today of how the word became flesh and dwelt among us that is who we we're created to be and so this opera house hasn't been used as an opera house since like 1917 right and it blows my mind that the thing that it was created to do it does not do but rather it just sits there taking up space and i think that's so applicable because the word became flesh and dwelt, dwelt among us so that we could become like jesus to the world if we're not operating in who we were created to be we're missing out on everything mm. This wall right here is, I was just told, where they stacked bodies during the flu pandemic. How, uh, how eerie. Okay, I uh, finished that photo shoot. Honestly, that was a pretty exciting one. We were talking about the word become flesh and dwelling among us, right? So, what do you feel like you were created for. Has that ever been posed to you? Because we exist to glorify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and that's Jesus. If that's something you struggle with, and, and, and honestly, and quite, quite sincerely, the, one of the things that I've really been struggling with lately is what is my calling, right? What is the thing that God put me on this earth to do? In Ephesians 12 or in Ephesians 2 excuse me he says that we are his masterpiece created in him to do good works I want to know what those good works are you might be the same way you might want to know what these good works are in the Lord and to be honest with you you were you exist to be intimate with the King of Kings the Lord of Lords so if that's something that that you're struggling with right now I just want to pray over you so, Father, in the name of Jesus, would you uh, loose this person from condemnation and guilt and shame and release in them a purpose and a desire to do your will, Father. I love you and you love them in Jesus' name. I'm on my way to go get my littles. And, yeah, thanks for joining me today. Hey, did you have a good day? Look at daddy. Say cheese. You want me to carry that stuff? Okay. Got him. Cried a little bit, but they said he had a really good day. Also, if you wanted to see some of the shots from the shoot I went to earlier, Take a look at these.